This conference will now be recorded. Good morning. This is Fahy Hemzi. It's about uh, 8.32 a.m. on a beautiful Monday, first day of March. Uh, first week of March. It's March 1st, 2021. Remember, March 21st, March 20th is uh, not this Saturday, but two Saturdays hence. That's Persian New Year. So somewhere in there, I will take a day off. 19 is Friday. Uh, that's the renewal, spring. It's the spring equinox. Remember last year, that set the low. Actually, that was on the Friday. The low was playing Sunday night. So we'll see. All right. Uh, no housekeeping comments other than uh, getting more back on the saddle. Fixed a couple items in the gym uh, here in the house. And then uh, worked a little bit on uh, uh, the bubbles. Uh, this is what we call the bubbles. Boom. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I am uh, moving the wrong box here, sorry. Uh, you'll be excited to see this. Uh, they actually will be used uh, occasionally for NQ Skype, but here's the bubbles, okay? And you can see how they, and plus the, now we integrated the Happy Expert that included the bubbles with the ATR dots. And so, uh, and it's running on three machines now. So you get to develop it in one place and then start using it. That's done. All right. Uh, we're planning to get a webinar done on a PMT. Again, as you know, we're now doing three of these a week. Uh, uh, yeah, and it's, um, the plan is um, to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8.30. Okay. Robert Brady, good morning, sir. Uh, so, uh, and so that would be in lieu of, uh, uh, charts in a, uh, 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 uh what do you call it, uh, uh, charts in the, the, the PMT because it gives more, uh, uh, flexibility. The charts takes a while. To, it's not the snaps, it's right up of it. But this way I can put trades up much, much easier. Plus you're getting up to date, uh, charts as, uh, 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 in terms of market timing. And the data is most recent. We're doing it on, Monday, on the mornings of that day. So um, the purpose for using it for OTF is you need to have some under, understanding of what the chart patterns are on a macro level. And uh, just so that you're not going after just purely on price and volume and uh, block data and get, get uh, broadsided by, a, let's say, earning event or a, or a market. Uh, data event, well, that's econ data. With that said, let's move on to econ data for this week. As you know, it's the first week of the month. And the big kahuna is uh, employment situation on Friday at 8.30. And we'd like to know what the consensus opinion looks like now. As you know, it's a line, it's a line like uh, at Caesars Sportsbook. It's going to move, but uh, it's slightly, not much, but majority is done. They're looking at 140, last was 49. Very dismal, very dismal. Remember, this is uh, Feb data. That was January data. You can see how things were bad, you know. And they're expecting from a negative 100 to 312, okay? Uh, participation rate is, uh, I think we've never seen this low in a long time. Used to be about 63, obviously since COVID. I'm not trying to blame anybody, it's just the nature of things. A lot of people are not coming back. And also, some of it is replaced by um, uh, uh, automation. There's no question. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll always trust the components, the big components of S&P 500. Over a long period of time, if you look at all asset classes, bills, notes, bonds, commodities, uh, baskets on one individual, like say crude, real estate, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, you go on and on and on, the biggest rate of return consistent over the last 100 years, I don't know if you had NASDAQ back then, but you could simulate what SPX was, is SPX. Why? Going concern. Now, what does it tell you? Why am I going there? It's because I trust the ingenuity behind it. That is, we will re-engineer ourselves. That's what you're seeing on the uh, participation rates. Some technology has come in. Uh, that's what we have. And, the change sometimes is not bad, but it causes disturbances like CMBSs. You know, anybody you talk to, I was just having some uh, drinks with uh, 
finals are at Nile College, of course, with a couple of friends from Chicago, and they're saying the whole Chicago has changed. The the office rental and the leasing market has dramatically has changed, both retail and offices. So that's that shape of things to come. Um, I would also want to pay attention to manufacturing data. So this Friday, okay. Don't care about. I want to see what the trade is, and I don't care about the Baker Hughes. Forget that. Initial jobless claims on Thursday. Okay, then we have ADP here. Now, last time I think it was, it was off, so look for that. EIA, of course. Um, uh, yeah. Services. Okay, that's getting a little bit more important. Who is speaking? Bostick is speaking. In Kaplan. Okay, hold on. Put my notes here. Okay. So. Uh, Bostick is Atlanta, Charlie, our good old Charlie from Chicago is speaking. He follows Tico on Twitter. Kaplan, believe it or not, he does. Uh, is Dallas, of course, he's a smart cookie. Parker is uh, Philly. Okay. And what else do we have? Anybody else speaking? Bostick again on Friday. Okay. No. Uh, Daily is San Fran. She's speaking tomorrow and Baynard, I believe, is uh, low. I think he's on the way out, probably. He's been there for a while as a board of governors, and he's not a bank president. So he's speaking today, too. Williams from New York is speaking today. That's at 9. Should be starting in 20 minutes. Uh, and we have ISM today at 10. Yeah. I'll pay a little bit of attention to construction spending, but really ISM. This is what I want to see. Okay. Bostic later on today. So that's that's a calendar here. Again, big number is going to be here. Uh, slow afternoon for th- Wednesday. I mean Thursday, and then nothing after the number. I mean probably this is done. Yeah, we get you get to eleven o'clock, ten o'clock, ten thirty on Friday. We're done for the day. Go home, do something different. Yeah, don't sit there. All right, let's go to charts quickly. Uh, timer chart. We pulled back as we discussed on Friday. And also, as we discussed, we need a flush. Remember what I said? We need the flush. We do, well, you asked for it. Hi, Jack. How are you, sir? You asked for it. You got it. That, that's the flush. Lower, below 50. Turn around, 50-day moving average. Came back, close, at it. Okay? And today, we're rallying. Now, that's the other reasons. One is a McClellan oscillator. I mean, by the way, Tico talked about that yesterday on his feed on Twitter. Yeah. And especially on Facebook. He was really kind of. Relax yesterday. I asked him, Daddy, I asked him, what's going on? He goes, Daddy, we're oversold. We're going to bounce here. I'm just relaxing here. I said, okay, peace. Never argue with a blonde. You're not going to win anyway. So. That's lessons learned. Yeah. I should write a book. Um, so, 50 bar held. This is a problem area, and we understand that, especially this level, but we should be above that. 13,137. We're up 143 handles. We're at 13,055. Okay, so that's no, no, hold on, hold on. Uh, close is to, okay, 137. Okay, we've got another uh, 40 there. We have another 80 handle move, which could be done today on NASDAQ if it happens. 80 handle move and, and kind of secure ourselves around 50 days. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that roughly doesn't have to be exact. In the shape of things to come, when your index is 13,000, that error in, uh, in price is thickness of the line you're drawing. Thickness of the line you're drawing, so it's nothing. Okay. What's important is what the McConnell studies are saying. Negative 280 and negative 180. This is launch pad mode for all practical purposes. Okay. Michael Burke, good morning, sir. What an honor. I almost called you, sir, yesterday, but got sidetracked again. Okay, canary charts. We're looking at canary charts. Uh, of importance always is Tran and Russell. And notice that sidebar. So let's go to a little bit closer, which is a D-trender. My kind of stuff. Uh, uh, yeah, if it's not complicated, I don't like it. <laughs> Morning, Jeff. How are you, sir? Welcome. Uh, so we do a D-trender here, which is basically the, what the price is minus the moving average of 50 and a 200. There's your 50, there's 200. And keep a count here. One, almost two, okay? So two out of eight, they're about to go negative, obviously. 
this starts on the 50s and then 200s, given the shape we're in, remember where we are. Yeah, it's not always like that, it depends where we are. In 2008, we were below here, so it was 200 first, then uh, 50 inverting, okay? This is the one, yeah, it's getting, going too negative, we're looking to go positive. So, let's see how that developed. Uh, outside bar on uh, Thursday, that was a big day, yeah, that was a big problem day. Uh, quiet on Friday, relatively. And we're at three six and four two. Okay. This was a big issue. Forty percent. That's the difference between Russell and this. And of course, you see how it corrected. It corrects itself. It's mean reversion. It's just math. SP1 mobile. Buy and sell. The short term is on a sell mechanical. We'll see how it goes. It's holding at a again, same chart basically. Except the Sigma channels on it. But this is all time highs. This is a fifty two hundred. All right. What's important is SP1, in my opinion, and what we see down here. Okay. SP1, broke center line, zero sec, fair value. The numbers doesn't matter what they are. Forget that. It's the pattern. Look at the chart. Okay. Goes to three, pulls back. Goes to two, one, one and a half, pull back. This is weakness, actually. And now the short term brethren is negative 4.23. At negative seven, negative eight, negative 10, I'm buying for sure. Uh, Maybe not seven, but let's say negative eight or lower, I would be buying for sure. Or nibbling in as a as a position for a swing trade. And we're there. We're almost there. I mean, I'm sorry. We're not there yet. We could be there shortly, but I think we're going to see a bounce here first. They may not have enough uh, uh, longs here. They may uh, fool everybody. Bounce a little bit. If it doesn't, give it the power we're in, this thing's going to take over. This, this sell signal, yeah. Remember, this is often false because it's trend following. So you got to give it a little bit of time. If it still doesn't change, then it's a good signal. Yeah. This one, though, this is usually good, but it has a delay. Remember that. Yeah, because it's, these are weeklies. All right? It runs on Fridays. I cannot do off Wednesday. I would ideally would love to run this off Wednesdays, Wednesday to Wednesday to Wednesday. But... Oh. Next item we want to watch is the pattern here. Uh, you see how the peaks come, and then what happens to the market? So we have not peaked there yet. So, and we probably won't now because where we are, we need to really get up to back to thirty nine fifty area. Okay, VIX is traded this morning. It's at uh, half a sigma right now, plus half a, plus half a sigma. Uh, you notice what happened at four, came back at two, and we're lower now. Here's the oil. Oil is doing good, 62. That's a J contract, correct. And then, um, now I don't like the way they compute this because there is USO in there. Very stupid. Uh, but there's a war between CBO and CME. Keep that in mind. The CME now owns uh, NYMEX. Um, NASDAQ is elevated. There's no question at 34. And so is Russell up there. Okay. Again, watch the Sigma count. We, we, it's not what, the, as Dr. Welly said, the inventor of the old VIX, it's not the value necessarily, it's what the shape of it looks like. That's important. Okay. Morning, Nancy, how are you? Again, quickly, we're going, we went over some housekeeping stuff. Uh, we discussed the fact that we're going to uh, do the, the charts uh, online three times a week. No trades will be given, though, because we invite everybody. No trades will be given. The trades are going to be still on the website. Yeah, we have to keep track of that separately. Okay, we gotta change some stuff on the website. We will just to, just to know this says yeah that what we're doing. But I promise I have to rethink this. I'm gonna revamp this product in a little bit differently, more practical. We've run it for five years. We learned a lot from it. Uh, you cannot just let it sit there forever. You have to tweak it and you have to tweak it carefully. Yeah, at the margin, and we're gonna be there. Okay. SQ, SQ is pulling back. It's 163. Remember, this is a tail risk on the downside. It's eased off. Why? Because we've eased up here. Okay. Some may have already cashed out a little bit, but that intensity we had earlier is gone for now. Okay. But the signal could be still in play. Don't get me wrong. It could give you a signal, ease up, and the, the re, reassessment, what we call repricing. But let's be kind here. And gentle, yes. Repricing will still, still occur. We've seen it before. So it's at, uh, it's at uh, negative one sigma right now. 
remember, we, we hit three, and it was high up. Plus three. Yeah, this is negative one. Plus three. Again, this is the observed high and lows over the years. The design is 100 to 150. So we've gone over that once. And that led to the, the, the December 2018 low. But that signal came in August 2018. So it gave us four, three and a half months. Uh, no, no. October. The, 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 oh, from, that's not it. But in October, it starts doing this, came back down, gets in November, and then went down. Not this, this sharp and this big in terms of bars, but that, that's happened then. So, so in effect, in about six weeks forward, hence, the, the, the signal starts showing some life. That's, this was real. Uh, and then, of course, accelerated. We don't know when that, that would happen, but there's a lot in front of us between now. And uh, if you take this date, this would put us around uh, March 15th. Okay, I remember March 20th is uh, uh, spring equinox. So you get that locus of that data between 15th to 20th that it could still signal and it could arrive there. The issue now becomes, okay, we didn't go there. We kind of stopped. We slow. Uh, the tops are taking time to uh, we uh, uh, the form. We acknowledge that. Uh, so why we're not going down? Well, you're the catalyst. Always, I've always, if, if anything I've tried to pass on to you guys is that, you know, I, I can come up with great ideas too. But if the market doesn't catch it, like the way you and I are catching it, it ain't going to happen. So what you need is to, uh, 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 to, or the, to uh, uh, watch for a occurrence that, that then gives you a, a reason to believe, hey, this is about to go there. Now, while I'm talking to you, I messed up a chart, so give me a sec. Let me close this and reopen it before messing up everything else. Okay. And yeah, it's a big, important chart, too. Uh, one second, I'm almost there. Okay, now let's look at the, uh, the, the VIX uh, 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 spread there. Um, is this the one? Yeah. All right. There we go. Good. Okay. Break your spread is 330. You notice down here what kind of earrings we were getting. We almost got to plus. So almost to un unchanged. This is one. This would have been zero right up there. It didn't got there. We got there, but I don't know. Point 0.4 unchanged. There we go. No, point 0.6. I'm sorry. Point six, huh? Where are we? You sure? Okay, if that's point six. No, this should be three eight, Jack. Huh? There you go. This doesn't make sense. I have to look into that. Okay. Is the scaling issue? I'll look into that. It could be slightly off. I wanna know why. Hmm. Okay. Um The key lesson here is that when we had this three is low reading, we should be, I'm, I'm sorry, high reading, because it's a negative number. High reading is almost becoming zero. The low should be in. We have done a double test. And then, of course, Admiral is great wisdom. He says, Daddy, I think we're going to go up. And we have been so far. So we'll find out. Plans to put a trade out there quickly for you guys today. Treasuries. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to see? Okay, rendezvous points. The rendezvous was not almost, almost, it was almost missed, but we're there now, it's shooting down here. But look where we are, 9 and 25 on SP2. These are oversold conditions. Okay. Can we get a flush early this morning? Absolutely. Of course, small fee, this market will do anything for you. Absolutely. Uh, but I think, that, uh, I, I, but I think, notwithstanding any exogenous news, I think that that was done on Friday. Plus, you have new money coming in, new month. There's a pressure up. Uh, Friday night, a couple of folks uh, text me. They wanted me to go out. I said no. Then the conversation turned to market, and they said we bought a lot of puts. I said, well, I'll drink to that. And then one of them got upset, and I said, well, you know, I mean, you know, you're buying puts. That's fine. But you got to realize that there's like people like me who look at that and says, hey, maybe I should take the other side. Uh, and he goes, why? And I said, contrarian indicators. So now using me as a container digger. I said, no, I have been using you. <laughs> well, what? <laughs> you just figured it out. 
you know, when you get an untrained comment like that, that's that's, that's actually uh, it's got value. It's useful. Yeah, in a different way, right? So, treasuries. Okay, 1.0 is history. Now, new month has opened. We have trade this morning as 1.43. So these lines are pulled up. You're not going to see any values until at least a day more because in a couple of days, you know, this opens up and it doesn't go horizontal until uh, tomorrow. But that that's a new regime we're in. This, remember, these are SPRs, uh, uh, support, pivot, and resistance. Now, it's trying to draw at the monthly level. The monthly, we're plotting daily bars on the monthly levels. So those are being plotted, in, and that's where the targets are. They're not going to change. Why? This is based on the activity of last month. So it is shooting for 2.2. Holy macro. I don't think so. That will be chaotic after we get to 2.2 on a, on a 10-year. But I wouldn't rule out uh, 1.7. Okay, 1.7 I can't rule out. We'll see if we can go beyond that. But 2.2, it would be absolutely good. Already, it's, uh, uh, it's misplacing a few things. It's, it's already displacing, I should say. Displacing some assets, yeah. So. You saw what happened to pending home sales, right? So, because this is mortgages, okay? This is insurance companies, long-term real estate. This is mortgages. This is uh, businesses. This is the government. That's what it is, really. Government funding. Businesses funding. Mortgages and then life insurance companies and your know, large real estate holdings and so forth. So, but it also tells me the economy is going to get better. Market discounts the future, and the smartest guys in the room always are bond guys. Okay, yeah, I started with bond futures not because I was smart. I found I'm not as smart, but I go back to stock indices. Yeah, and uh, if you read Fabozzi, if you're a student of Richard Roll, you'll see it's a complex world. So that's why you do have some smarts. The smartest guys in the room are always are bond guys. And there's something going on here. These vigilantes are in. They see what's happening with the economy. The economy's going to get better. It goes back to what Admiral Esposito said day one, last row. It's the vaccine. It's the vaccine. It's the vaccine. You get the vaccine into the formula, everything's going to change. And now with the adults in the room and no more daily drama, we're on our way. Okay. And of course, as you know, J&J was approved uh, Saturday afternoon. The single dose vaccine. Having said that, let's move on. Like what time it is? Eight fifty-five. Yeah, I want to close these by nine if I can. All right. Quickly, uh, two hundred day, two hundred day uh, scoring system that we have. You could use that for off of our stockcharts.com. It's a free chart. It's dollar. It's a dollar sign. Sierra, Papa, X-ray, Alpha, two hundred Romeo. Okay. You can play with these filters there down below. You can do that if you want. I think they give you ten and twenty. It's a little bit close. I use 20 and 50. Haven't changed them since 2008. Trust your indicators. Stop changing them. Let them sit there. Why? You need cumulative learning in your mind. Don't keep on changing things. You're going to get into trouble. Yeah, yeah. See what you like. Stick to it. Learn it. If it's working, keep keep using it because that's how you get in trouble. Because every time you reset, look where you are. You're at the top of the learning curve. It takes a long time to come down. What is this telling us? Well, I think we're getting some weakness here for sure. That was Friday. But inconclusive for any big move down yet. It just took some of the fat out. Some of that excess was taken out. So let that be. Uh, but it's getting to a threshold. I want to watch it. Up here is very, very finicky. Up here is very, very nervous. And uh, you know, greed and fear. But once we get in between now, we have some analysis to do. And we're at 80% now. Remember, this is the square. Okay. Overnight. Okay. Not that chart. Here, what we did. Overnight. This is what overnight we've done. This is OTF charts. OTF section, futures. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Futures, but using OTF only that. This is just the basics. You'd see what we have done here. Uh, we're up 43. Very healthy. That's 400 points on the Dow. And 164, so 1%. Actually, NASDAQ is forward We're ahead of that. Good. Okay. I look 30 I use 30% and Sigma channels because that basically gives me what vibrations uh, most more analytical type of money managers are looking at. All right. These are charted, posted, uh, all that uh, every Friday. I mean, it gets updated uh, four times, a, five times a week. 
Last one being Friday was posted. Uh, we do, we're, of course, we're running J21s. These are the Excel parts. So this is looking at the largest uh, blocks out there. This is what I've been working on. I've added to the NQ the bubbles. We have the bubbles, okay? And then we have the dots. These are ATR dots with uh, DMZ. It's running five minutes. Thank you. Uh, it's been miraculously, uh, alarmingly right. Now, I don't think my rules are complete yet. I'm still working on that. Probably have a week or two to go. All right. With that said, we're done with the brief here. What is it? Any questions for me? Any question, guys? You can post it in the chat right there for the go to meeting. Okay. Well, thank you for attending. We'll do one again on the Wednesday. Again, our goal is to do that. Uh, to, to send the invite out like 8.15-ish. I was a little bit running late today, earlier, or even sooner. Quite welcome, sir. I think. Glad to see you here. And uh, hope to see the chat room. I'll try to reach out to you later on today if I can, if not this evening. Thanks. That's Michael, Michael Burke here. Um, let me put this into post-processing so we can get it posted for the folks who are interested. As you know, they all get... Uh, um posted here um, um let's this is uh we post them here right there and just for variety we're changing the cover sheet of each okay so they all get posted here and you see our numbers are beginning to pick up a little bit not uniform yet some days we get much bigger readings but that's okay you know it's, it's just it's a random event that's okay we'll see you all thank you so much Going back to the queue, uh, Skype.